Good morning. It's a cold and frosty start to the day across England and Wales. Here we'll see some sunshine, but there are showers in the north and the west. They'll merge, giving longer spells of rain today. The wind strengthening, and tomorrow is going to be very windy with gales, even severe gales for some of us, and locally storm force winds. That'll have more on all of that in 15 minutes. Goodness, we'll see you later, Carol. Is at the moment. Carol, you were saying we've got some real potential gusty days ahead. Morning. Absolutely right, Naga. Yes, good morning. We'll start off today, first of all, this morning. It's a cold start, frosty start as well. You may well be scraping your car windscreen first thing. But for England and for Wales in particular, it is going to be sunny. However, you can see all these showers piling in from the west. Later on, they'll be replaced by some rain, and some of that rain is going to be heavy and possibly problematic. So across southern counties this morning, it's cold. It's frosty, but there's some sunshine around. It's the same through East Anglia, Essex, in through the Midlands, also Wales, mostly dry with some sunshine, just a few showers peppering the west coast here and there. For Northern Ireland, for Northern England and for Scotland, here we've got more showers, particularly so in Scotland, and they're falling in snow in the hills. But in some of the heavier bursts, we could see some of that for a time getting down to lower levels. Now, as we go through the day, the wind will strengthen in the north, in the northwest. We'll see more cloud develop ahead of another system coming in. So that cloud spilling in across parts of England and then the rain coming in across the north and the west. So it's the southeast and the south that are going to hang on to the sunshine for the longest period of time today. But with the wind and the rain, wherever you are really, it's not going to feel particularly warm. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, again, we've got some heavier rain coming in. There is the risk of localised flooding from this. The wind is going to strengthen, particularly so in the second half of the night, when anywhere from North Wales, Northern England, Northern Ireland, northwards, we are looking at very strong winds, gusting to gale force, possibly more than that. Northumberland, Durham, for example, as we go through tonight, the latter part, and tomorrow in the firing line as well. So if you're travelling, bear that in mind. Some stormy conditions are coming our way, coupled with heavy rain, leading to some nasty travelling conditions. So if we take a look at some of those gusts we're expecting tomorrow morning, you can see Western Scotland and Northern Ireland seeing some really strong gusts, as are other parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and also North Wales. Even inland gales we're looking at. So you'll know all about this. And through the course of the day, our rain will push further south. And what you'll find too is that it will be a weakening feature. But the wind really very much so a feature of the weather. Some damaging gusts are quite likely. Now through the day, our rain pushes down towards the south, fairly patchy in nature. The sun will come out behind it. But still, it is going to feel cold, really, wherever you are, despite the temperatures you can see in the charts. And once again, we'll have some snow across the north and the west of Scotland, more predominantly on the hills. As we go into the weekend, we're not out of the woods yet because we are looking at more very windy conditions. On Saturday, there'll be some snow around across parts of Northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. But through the day, we'll see the snow level rise. And then by the time we get to Sunday, it still is going to be pretty windy. And it's also going to be pretty wet as well. So for the next few days, we are entering a period of potentially disruptive weather. So if you're travelling, do bear that in mind. And not just you two either. Mm. Carol, is this uh, all these gusts, are these the remnants of um, that storm Jonas? No, that's well and truly gone now. And that right. was the name given it to it by the Weather Channel. We didn't actually call it that. But no, that went through us as windy and wet weather the other day, Naga. Oh, this, so is, this, is, just, this is just ours to enjoy then, really, is it? <laughs> to enjoy, perhaps <laughs> loosely speaking. <laughs> Very loosely. All right, Carol, many thanks. See you later. Let's talk to Carol. Let's find out what's happening with the morning's weather. It's gusty out there. Oh, are we waking up to that as well? Frozen windscreens some morning. Us, some of us will be, Naga. Yes, good morning. The weather over the next couple of days after today has the potential to be quite disruptive. So I'm going to press on quite quickly. It's a frosty start across England and Wales in particular. So allow yourself an extra couple of minutes this morning just to clear your windscreen. But for many of us, it's a cloudy and a damp start in the north, in the south. It's drier. It will be brighter. There'll be some sunshine. Just a peppering of showers here and there, for example, around the Bristol Channel coastline. For East Anglia, Essex, into the Midlands, most of Wales, it's dry, it's cold, it will be fine. Across Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland, we've got some showers, more prolific across Scotland, and falling as snow down to about 200 metres. In some of the heavier showers, you could see some snow a little bit at lower levels, but most of it will retreat into the hills as we go through the course of the day. So a beautiful day across most of England and Wales with some sunshine. But showers developing in other western areas as we go through the day and some of those showers will merge.
to give some longer spells of rain and the wind will be a feature too. Not as much as it's going to be over the next few days but you will notice it today and with the wind and the rain it is going to feel cold. Now as we head through the evening and overnight we see more rain piling in from the west. Some of that is going to be heavy so there's the risk of localised flooding but the wind is really going to strengthen. By the end of the night, we will be looking at gales, even severe gales for some, anywhere from North Wales into Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. So it's going to feel cold once again as we head on through the course of this night. So for tomorrow morning's rush hour, bear in mind you could encounter some atrocious conditions. There could be stormy conditions in the far north of Scotland, gales for other parts of the UK coupled with the heavy rain. So looking at that a bit more closely, the kind of gusts we're looking at are 70 miles an hour or so across parts of Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. But again, anywhere from North Wales through Northern England into Scotland and Northern Ireland, we've got those gusty winds and they'll continue for a time. Now the Met Office currently has yellow warnings out. This could be increased, so do keep in touch with your weather forecast. Now, as we go through the day, you can see even inland, we're looking at 60 or 70 mile an hour gusts of wind. The rain continues to edge southwards through the day as a weaker feature. And behind it, there will be some sunshine coming out, but it still will be pretty windy, even though perhaps not quite as windy as the start of the day. And again, despite the fact you can see temperatures even into double figures, it is going to feel cold. Now, as we head on into Saturday, we start again with atrocious conditions across parts of northern Scotland. We'll have snow, we'll have gales or severe gales, and there'll be blizzards in the hills and mountains. At lower levels, it's not going to be particularly pretty either. It's also going to be a cold start across the board, and we will see some wintry showers as far north as North Wales. But in between, there will be some sunshine. Sunday, a little bit quieter, but still windy. And then it looks like for northern England, North Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland, We've got more gales on the way, even severe gales for some, which may affect transport. So do keep in touch with the weather forecast for the next few days. There's a message, Nagin, Charlie. OK, good advice. Many thanks, Carol. And Carol has the weather for us. Good morning. It's a cold and frosty start, but there'll be a sunny spell or two across most of England and Wales today, excuse me. <coughs> and then we've got showers coming into the north and west. For Scotland and for Northern Ireland, while we're looking at showers at the moment, they're going to merge to give some heavier spells of rain. The wind's going to strengthen, leading us into a potentially disruptive weekend weather-wise. I'll have more in 15 minutes. Lots of weather going on. Carol, keep us updated later. See you then, Carol. Very windy out there for many of us. Carol's keeping across this and a frosty start, I see. Morning, Carol. It is indeed a frosty start. Good morning. It's going to be very windy as we go through the weekend, in fact, Naga. And it could well prove to be disruptive. And not just the weekend, right the way through until Monday. The southeast of England probably missing the worst of all of the weather over the next few days. But it is a frosty start, as you rightly said. Allow an extra couple of minutes just to scrape your car windscreen if you are heading out. And you can see why. We've had clear skies through the course of the night across southern counties of England and also Wales through the Midlands into East Anglia. And that's why the temperature has plummeted. But it does mean it's going to be sunny. For Northern England and also Northern Ireland, there are some showers around. The showers more prolific across Scotland and falling as snow above about 200 metres. But in some of the heavier showers, you could see some sleet and snow even at lower levels, but it will be fairly transient. Now, through the day, the sunshine prevails across much of England and Wales, but you can see a bit more cloud developing through the afternoon, producing some showers across the north and the west. And for Scotland and Northern Ireland, the showers merging to give some heavier periods of rain. Despite the temperatures being between 6 and 10 Celsius, it is going to feel cold. And it's going to feel cold tonight as well. Tonight, we're looking at more rain piling in from the west. Again, it's falling on some sensitive areas to rain. So there is the risk of localised flooding. And the wind is really going to strengthen in the second half of the night across North Wales, Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. We're looking at gales, severe gales, and in the north of Scotland, even storm force winds. So this could be disruptive to your travel plans tomorrow. And you can keep up to date with what's happening where you are through your BBC local radio station. So to look at the kind of gusts we are expecting tomorrow across Western Scotland and Northern Ireland, potentially we've got 67, 70 miles an hour. But across the far north of Scotland into the Northern Isles, we're looking at even more than that, 80 to 90 miles an hour with exposure. Now, currently, the Met Office has yellow warnings out for this. Do keep tuned to the forecast as well because these have the potential to be upgraded to something higher.
Now, as we go through the course of the morning, even inland across northern England, North Wales, Northern Ireland, we're looking at gusts 50 to 60 with exposure a bit more than that. And at the same time, our band of rain weakens as it pushes further south. Now, behind it, we'll see a return to sunshine and showers, still snow in the hills of Scotland, and not a particularly pleasant feeling day. Again, it is going to feel cold. Then as we head on into Saturday, it's going to be atrocious across the north of Scotland first thing. We'll have snow even at lower levels. There'll be blizzards in the hills and we're looking at drifting of that snow as well. Now for the rest of us, it's going to be a cold day, particularly a cold start to the day. So any showers are likely to be wintry in nature as far south as North Wales. But the very term showers indicates that we're not all going to see them. There will be some sunshine Saturday again, pretty chilly and still pretty windy. And then as we head into Sunday, more wet and windy weather on the cards. Again, feeling cold. All this rain, of course, exacerbating the risk of flooding. And then by the time we get into Monday, once again, for North Wales, Northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, there's the risk of gales or severe gales. So a very potentially disruptive spell of weather we're about to enter into Charlie and Naga. So we need to keep across travel um, warnings as well, don't we, Carol? Are the temperatures about right for this time of year? Some of them are actually a wee bit above average, Naga, but it won't feel like that because of the wind and the rain. And it's all, once again, down to the jet stream. Ah, that jet stream. Carol, many thanks. Let's take a moment and have a look at the weather. Carol's there for us this morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning to you. Well, if you're just stepping outside, it's a cold start to the day, particularly so across England and Wales. And it's also a frosty one, but it does mean when the sun gets up, there will be plenty of sunshine around. Now, it's not sunny absolutely everywhere. We've got a plethora of showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland, a few dotted across Northern England, and a few around the Bristol Channel, for example. Move away from that, we're back into the cold start, but also the sunny one. But if anything, further showers will develop in the west through the day, and those that we already have will also turn that bit heavier. So for southwest England, into the afternoon, there'll be one or two showers, more showers across Wales, but we hang on to the brighter skies across the far south of England and also the southeast. Then we run into a bit more cloud across the Midlands with some showers. The showers merging across Wales, northwest England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. And this morning, above about 200 metres, there'll be some snow, but through the day, that snow level will actually rise across Scotland. Now, through the evening and overnight, once again, the wind is going to become a feature of the weather, particularly so in the second half of the night. We're also going to see more heavy rain coming in from the north and the west. This is going to be falling in already rain-sensitive areas and could lead to some localised flooding problems. But we'll have gales, even severe gales, possibly storm force winds, storm force across the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles, gales or severe gales anywhere from North Wales and northwards by the time we get to this time tomorrow morning. So if you are travelling, you could well encounter some disruption to your travel plans. If you stay tuned to your BBC local radio station, you'll hear what's happening there where you are. So tomorrow, if we look at some of the gusts we are expecting, across parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland, while well, we could well have gusts 70 miles an hour in excess of that across the far north, and also the Northern Isles. But really, Northern England, so Northumberland, Durham, North Wales, again, we're looking at very gusty winds. Something to bear in mind if you're in a high-sided vehicle or a light vehicle, probably not the best day for a bike. Now, you can see the Met Office has yellow warnings as denoted by the triangles there. There's a good chance that these may well be upgraded, so stay in touch with the forecast. Now, as we head on through the day, even inland, we're looking at the potential for very gusty winds anywhere from North Wales northwards, and the rain will continue to advance southwards, weakening and becoming more patchy as it does so. Behind it, the sun will come out. There'll still be a plethora of showers across the north and the west, some of those still wintry in the hills, but despite the temperature values that you can see, it is going to feel cold. Then as we start Saturday, it's going to be a cold start. We will also have some snow across the northwest of Scotland, a lot of it on the hills, but some of it getting down to lower levels with still gales or severe gales. There'll be blizzards on the hills and drifting of snow as well. Now, the cold air will filter all the way across the UK, and it does mean that any showers will be wintry in nature as far south as North Wales, but the very term showers means that not all of us will see them. Sunday will still be windy, there'll be some rain around, but again on Monday, the same areas from North Wales, Northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, there's the potential for further gales or severe gales, so still the potential for further disruption as well. Now again, Charlie. OK, Carol, many thanks. Carol, thanks for that. Let's see time now, 7.48. And Carol has the weather for us.
Good morning. It's a cold and a frosty start, but for some of us, a sunny one. We've got some showers in the north and west at the moment. They'll become more prolific through the course of the day and the wind will strengthen. But for the next few days, we're looking at potentially some disruptive weather. I'll have more details in 15 minutes. See you then, Carol. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Sue, um, I'm going to give you the opportunity to say hello to your friend Aww. Carol because she told me, which I haven't done, she told me to give you a big snog <laughs> uh, when you came <laughs> into the studio. I didn't we, do it, Carol. I'm so sorry. Big, we are big buddies. Have you met her cat, Donald? Donald. No, we oh. hear about Donald, Donald all the time. Tell us Legend. About Donald. Well, Donald? Donald used to, uh, hated me for, for years. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, if I ever take a tuna sandwich in there, now suddenly he's all over me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> That's so true. How to bribe a cat, eh? Is Donald, is Donald <laughs> named... Is he named after a, a certain American politician? <laughs> 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 no, he's not. He's just named Donald because it suits him. And he loves Sue as well. Well, he does now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does Sue. There's no, no difference with Donald there at all. <laughs> Lovely to see you, even if it's just down the line. Anyway, the weather. Good morning. This morning it is a cold start to the day and it's also a frosty one as well. Particularly so across England and Wales. Now, this is a calm before the storm because we're going to get into a period of very disruptive weather. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, we've got a lot of showers currently, some of those falling as snow down to about 200 metres. That snow level will rise through the day and we'll see further showers develop across northern and western parts of England and also Wales. So the brightest skies will be across parts of the Midlands, the southeast and southern counties. But even so in the afternoon, we could catch the odd shower and wherever you are today, it is going to feel cold. So we hang on to that sunshine, more cloud developing across the Midlands with a few showers, the showers merging through Wales, Northern England and also Northern Ireland and Scotland. Now the wind is also going to strengthen through the course of the afternoon. So again, with that combination, wherever you are across the UK, it will feel a bit on the nippy side. Now through the evening and overnight period, if anything, we'll see some heavier rain coming our way in from the north and the west. And this is going to be falling on already rain sensitive areas. So there is the risk of localised flooding. And by the end of the night, we're also going to be looking at very strong winds from North Wales northwards, gales, severe gales, and across the far north of mainland Scotland and the Northern Isles, even storm force winds. So that is likely to have some impact on your travel arrangements for tomorrow morning, that combination. And of course, you can keep up to date with what's happening where you are on your BBC local radio station. So to look at some of the gusts, well, across Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's not out with the realms of possibility, 70 to 80 miles an hour. We've got the storm force, 80 to 90 across the North of Scotland and also the Northern Isles, 60 to 70 possibly more with height across Northern England and North Wales. The yellow triangles are Met Office warnings. They might be upgraded today. It's something certainly worth keeping an eye on. Meanwhile, the heavy rain will continue to drift southwards through the day, increasingly turning more patchy in nature as it does so. Behind it, we see a return to sunshine and showers. But again tomorrow, despite what the temperature values may say, it is going to feel cold, really, wherever you are. And even in the south, where we're looking at double figures. Now, that leads us into Saturday. Saturday across northern Scotland is going to be atrocious. We've got snow in the cards, even at lower levels. There'll be blizzards in the hills, and there will also be drifting snow. But for all of the UK, we're looking at cold conditions seeping southwards. So that means any showers that we have are likely to be wintry in nature as far south as North Wales. Now, when I say showers, it does mean not all of us will see them, but there could be a mixture of rain, sleet, hail and some snow. And then by the time we get to Sunday, still windy, not as windy, but still windy, with some rain coming across, again, exacerbating the risk of flooding. And as we head into Monday, we're back into gales once again. North Wales, Northern England, Scotland, and also Northern Ireland. Gales, severe gales are quite likely, and again, could prove to be disruptive, Naga and Charlie. We're going to talk a lot more later, Carol, because I want to know about the jet stream and how it's been pushing it all forward, but we'll talk in about half an hour. See you then. Lovely, thanks. Let's talk to Carol. I tell you what, the jet stream is causing problems, Carol, isn't it, for us? Morning. Good morning, all. Yes, indeed, Naga. It is. It's going to bring us some potentially disruptive weather 
over the next few days. Essentially what's happened is there's a real marked difference in temperature between Arctic Canada and Newfoundland. That has really strengthened the jet stream that's right across our shores at the moment. So one after the other it's rolling in areas of low pressure which is going to give us some stormy conditions as we go through the next few days. But today's the calm before the storm. Our weather watchers as always at this time sending us in some beautiful pictures. This is the sunrise in Norfolk earlier on and in Guernsey it's a beautiful start to the day as well. Again you can see lovely blue skies there too. But it's a frosty start, it's a cold start but there'll be some sunshine across mostly England and Wales and eastern Scotland. Elsewhere we've got some showers and some of those showers on the hills of Scotland above about 200 metres falling as snow. But through the day, that snow level will rise as the rain comes across. And through the day too, we'll see a bit more cloud developing ahead of the rain across Wales in towards the West Midlands. But southern counties generally staying dry with some sunshine. The same too across Essex and East Anglia. So Midlands seeing a bit more cloud, parts of Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. And then you can see all the rain coming in across Wales, Northwest England, Northern Ireland and also Scotland, accompanied by a strengthening wind. So wherever you are today, it's going to feel cold. It's going to be a cold night as well. And through the evening and overnight, more rain is coming our way. Now, this rain is going to be heavy. It's falling in already, already rain-sensitive areas. So there is the risk of some localised flooding. But the wind will be a huge factor in the weather tonight. By the end of the night, gusting to gale force, severe gales or even storm force from North Wales northwards, the storm force in the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles. So that could lead to some travel disruption for you tomorrow morning. Best place to stay in touch is, of course, here in Breakfast or in your BBC local radio station. Now, as we go through the morning, to give you an idea of the kind of wind gusts that we are looking at, across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland, they'll be highest, apart from the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles, where we're looking at 80 miles an hour with exposure, possibly 90 miles an hour. These are damaging gusts. And you can see, too, across Northern England, it's not a pretty picture. Neither is it across North Wales. We're looking at 60 to 70 miles an hour. The yellow triangles are yellow warnings from the Met Office. Something we're looking at this morning is whether these will be upgraded or not to something higher. So do keep in touch with the weather forecast. Now, through the course of tomorrow, as well as the wind, the rain will be continuing to journey southeastwards as a weakening feature. Behind it, we'll have sunshine and showers. But wherever you are, regardless of what the temperature says, it is going to feel cold. Then as we head through Friday night into Saturday, while it still is going to be pretty windy, particularly so in the northern half of the country from North Wales northwards, we'll have blizzards on the hills of Scotland, drifting snow further south. But as we come south, it's going to be cold. So any showers that we see will be wintry in nature as far south as North Wales. But very term showers means not all of us will see them. And then Saturday, Sunday and Monday, Still windy, but particularly so on Monday when we see a return in the same areas to gales or even severe gales, Naga and Charlie. So tons going on with the weather again. Mmm, Carol, it's keeping you busy. You know, it's one of those weeks, isn't it, where we're quite pleased we're not being sent out because it's so cold <laughs> and so <laughs> yes, gusty. Totally. You know, but So I feel quite sorry for our next guest, which we'll get to in a minute, but it's, it's one of the team from Winterwatch, and they're in the Cairngorms in the Highlands, one of apparently the coldest places in the UK, and they've been there all week, so they must have been freezing. So any ideas of what they should expect in the coming week? Yes! <laughs> oh dear, I hope they've got lots of warm clothes. Today we've got, well, we've got snow in the morning. It will turn back to rain later on. But as we go through the weekend, we're looking at quite a bit of snow, strong winds. So there'll be blowing of that snow, there'll be blizzards in places, and there'll be a significant wind chill. It's going to feel freezing. Uh, Carol, the bearer of good news, as always. <laughs> oh, they'll be really Sorry pleased to that. hear that. Carol, <laughs> lovely seeing you. Thanks so much Thanks. for that.